What's up guys, it's Magic Alex here and I'm here with a really quick video to show you how you can use Titanium Backup to backup um, your apps and data so that they can be restored really quickly after you flash the new ROM. So if you're into flashing ROMs uh, frequently or or even if you're not really a, a really frequent flasher, this um, software is invaluable. I know that when I first tried using Titanium Backup um, I was completely lost, but the process is really simple and um, I'll, I'll show you how to do this um, in a couple of quick steps. So first pop into Titanium Backup and just wait for it to load up. And once you're done, what you want to do is you want to go into batch mode. And in order to do that, you click this little paper with a tick on the bottom right corner of it, um, right at the top here and they'll take you into batch mode and this is where you can really quickly back up all of your apps and data so what I like to do is I like to back up both um, my apps and system data so that all my saved game information uh, the app itself and basically everything just everything gets uh, saved and you can restore them back individually um, once you flash new ROM so you don't have to worry about you know um, not you know not wanting all of the apps back or, or just wanting to keep some or deleting the others so to save you the trouble it's best just to save everything you know because once it's gone you can't be recovered so the setting I like to use best is to go into the backup section so the first section is verify backups then the section immediately below that is backup um, and I like to go to the third option here. It says backup all user apps and system data. So that will save all the data. You know, if you, if you have um, WhatsApp or some other messaging service, it's going to save all the messages. Uh, if you have saved game data, it's going to save your game progress, um, everything. So basically, everything gets backed up. If you have a launcher, it's going to save the preferences in your launcher, and it's just going to come back just as it is. Right, so here it shows that I have 156 apps, so I can go into run this. And once I'm in here, I can fine tune it. I can actually, um, as you can see, everything is ticked here. I can actually go ahead and untick the apps that I don't want to back up if I'm concerned about conserving disk space. Um, if you were to deselect all, then it will you know, deselect everything, and then you can individually select them or if you invert it the ones that are selected will be unselected and the ones that are not selected will be selected so I'm going to choose to keep everything um, you know, it's, it's the simplest no-brainer option and to start off the process you click the little green tick right at the top uh, right corner here and that will kick off the process so it's going to take a while, you know, depending on how many apps you have and how much data you have on it. And so this usually takes me about 15 minutes. Um, one thing to note is that if you have games, um, this does not save data that's on your SD card. So if you have pictures, movies, um, music, those are not going to get saved. It's just the app and the data corresponding to the app itself and even extensions of an app uh, like the .obb files so if you download really large game files like Legend, Blood and Glory, FIFA 12, you know, Need for Speed those have their individual uh, OBB files that store um, language support or what, what other graphics uh, and, and whatnot that you have associated with the game those are stored actually on the SD card so those won't be backed up so those themselves won't be backed up but having said that when you wipe data and wipe cache before you flash a new ROM the data on the SD card is untouched right so you don't have to worry about losing your music or your videos or the or re-downloading those .obb files associated with the large games because those will all still be residing on the SD card so I'll just let this um, back up and uh, you'll see the video fast forward from here um, until the end and then um, in the next video I'll show you how you can restore it after you've actually um, restored the ROM but yep
All right, guys, so it looks like the backup process is completed. Um, when it has completed, your phone should vibrate and you would get a um, notification pop up. Um, in my case, it's this backup has finished. And yeah, so that's it. So it's been backed up, and I'll just show you where it's stored on the phone. It's stored in your SD card. And um, I have my folder sorted by date, so it just pop right to the top. If you are sorted alphabetically, you just need to scroll down to a folder called Titanium Backup. And if you navigate into that folder, you will see all the apps and data here. Um, just backed up right there. So they're all dot properties and dot tarballs. And yeah, so you can see the date here it's 5th of fifth October um, which is when I backed it up so well I'm sorry that's that's not the date it was backed up that's the date where the app was last modified but um, yeah you just have to take my word that for it that um, this is actually the, the files that were just backed up yep so um, I hope this was helpful uh, leave a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and uh, leave a comment below and I'll see you next time.